You're very welcome back. Now, the International Literature Festival in Dublin kicks off yesterday, or kicked off yesterday, and runs until the 27th of May. This year's event celebrates 21 years of gathering writers and readers together with 100 events across Dublin city centre. Joining us now with more on what the festival has to offer is number one best-selling author, Liz Nugent. Good morning, Liz. Good morning. Good how, morning. How, welcome. How, how good does that sound, number one best-selling author? It's it's rather pleasing. Because <laughs> yeah. you're saying your latest book really has, has been at number one now for five weeks? Yeah. Well, number one in the original fiction chart. That, I'll take the that. happy pairs are up there at the overall number one. Yeah, of course Those they are. Those happy yeah. pairs. Yeah. I threatened to break their happy little arms so they could do yeah. no more happy little handstands. <laughs> but, uh, well, they're still a pair and they're yeah, still very yeah. happy, but uh, we're here to talk about they're you. So um, let's talk about the festival first before mm. we talk about you and your, and your books. Um, what does it mean to you? And, and to have an involvement in it this year. Well, I've never, I've never been a part of it before, yeah. so it's a, it's a, it's a real privilege and an honour yeah. to sort of, to be invited to, to partake, as a writer in your own city in the biggest, the biggest yeah. Dublin, uh, event of the year. So it's, it's fantastic. And there's, I like to be, there among all of my literary heroes. You mm. know, John Banville and John Boyne and Claire Kilroy yeah, yeah. and. Uh, international writers like Yi Yun Lee, and um, there's a the, the poetry is really well represented. There's a global poetry session on tomorrow night. Um, one of my favourite favourite current writers, Kit Duval, mm. is doing an event on Saturday evening. So yeah, I'm, I'm it's an event that's got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And every because we I remember we had somebody on last year covering the festival. The events are becoming more diverse as well. It's, just, it's not just about writers, it's just poetry readings. Yeah. Yes. It's getting bigger yeah, and bigger. Yeah, and, and academics and children's writers and Oliver Jeffers, who's a writer and illustrator, is also taking part. So it's a really sort of comprehensive, all-rounder kind of a festival, and it's spread out. It's not just in one venue. It's using venues. 30 cities, yeah, yeah. different locations yeah. and, and 100 events. This has become kind of almost like a tourist attraction, yeah. hasn't it? Because yeah, visitors I, from all over well, the globe come over yeah, first. Yeah, I think, I think they do. Um, mine is this evening at 6 o'clock in Smock Alley. I should just tell you that. Yes, you definitely <laughs> should tell us that. <laughs> um, but, and what yeah. can people expect, Liz? Is it a reading? Is it a chat? Um, well, I'm going to be interviewed by my very good friend and crime writer, uh, Sinead Crowley, who's yes. a, a wonderful writer in, in her own right. Um, and so I expect I will do a little reading and then she will talk to me about books and crime writing in general. And then we'll have a Q&A from the audience and then I'll sign books afterwards. Brilliant. So it, it won't take more than an hour, so... But let's it talk about fun. let's talk about Skin the latest deep. novel, Skin Deep. Yeah. Um, tell us first of all about the book, about the characters, and about the story. What what's the book about? Well, um, I think this setup for start is about a very da damaged woman called Cordelia. And when the book opens, she's down in her luck, living in the south of France, faded beauty in her sort of mid fifties. Um, she's just gate crashed a party with a stranger that she picked up called Sam. She's done a couple of lines of cocaine. She um, gets wildly drunk at the party and she wakes up in the morning on the floor of the party and everybody's gone home. And she staggers home in the horrors of that sort of alcoholic haze. And when she gets home, she hears the hum of the flies that have gathered and they have already begun to feast upon the corpse that she left behind <laughs> in her flat the night before. So that's, that's heavy um, going, Liz. Wow. That's, how, uh, that's how it kicks off. But then it goes back to explain really what brought her to this point and you know what type of character she was and where she came from, because she is not who she presents herself as. She's a woman who constantly reinvents herself. Um, she starts off as a very poverty-stricken child on the west of Ireland island off the coast of Mayo, fictional island, and then winds up um, living in high society in London and then later in high society in Monaco, but ends up pretty much uh, as an ageing hooker in Nice. Holy moly. This is a fascinating yeah. story, and I'm not surprised that <coughs> it's me. been the number one best-selling uh, book for, f from week one. 
Well, so it's a yeah. dark, it's a dark novel, but clearly it's caught the imagination. This is a movie waiting to happen as well, isn't it? Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Let's so. Let's talk yeah. about your your process because that's what fascinates me is your mm -hmm. writing process. Take for example, Skin Deep. Where does that idea start? What did you start with? Is it the character? Is it the circumstance? Uh, or? It's always the character. The character yeah. comes first. And the character was very much inspired by a song by the Divine Comedy called Lady of a Certain Age. Um, and I just thought the lyrics of that lent themselves to a story. So I was waiting around for a couple of years for Neil Hannon to, of the Divine <laughs> Comedy to, to write the book because yeah. I just thought there's definitely a book in that song. Mm. And when he didn't, I just kind of thought, well, I'll write it. So, I, you know, I, I, I've changed it substantially from, from the song. But um, does, does he know that? Yeah, yeah I got to interview him. I yeah. got to interview him uh, for the book show, the radio book show. So, yeah, I got to meet him. That was a real thrill as well. <laughs> um, but uh, he, I, I don't think he's a big reader. You know, he said he, he reads, um, he's read Room with a View over and over again. Yeah. Okay. But he's not, um, he says he doesn't really have the concentration for reading books. So I don't know, he was on page 60 at that stage of my book. <laughs> he didn't want well, to I don't know whether he finished Because it he's or... amazing actually with lyrics, so he's it's interesting that you took inspiration yeah. from yeah. his song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very And much how long so. would that process take then? Was it, was it a couple of years? Are they a year? It or... was about 18 months, I suppose, from start to the draft and that are I you, submitted. Are you very disciplined, Liz? No. Do you have your writing day? No, no I'm not. I'm not. Uh, and and uh, it's it's a terrible admit to admit it because I hope people who are aspiring writers don't follow don't my copy lead. You. I'm, I'm very chaotic in the way I approach it. Um, all, all of the really good, consistently good writers get up early every morning and they yeah, write yeah. every day. Yeah. I don't like mornings. <laughs> and I right. don't necessarily write every day, right. but um, I, I somehow managed to get it done. I cobble it together somehow. But it's whatever works it's for weird. you, isn't it? Yeah. I know Cecilia Ahern told me before, it's when everyone goes asleep and yeah. everyone's she day ends yeah. that she's Paul Howard is the opposite. On the... He gets up in the morning, yes. leaves his house, goes to another house I and know. starts work at nine yes. o'clock. Yeah, I go it's... to my library sometimes. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. But, that's... but it's so individual, isn't yeah. it? That's also the beauty of this festival where, where people will get an insight into writers. Yes, exactly. And as to how different the approach to the process is. Yeah. Sure. Yet the end results are all successes well and they're also different like everybody exactly yeah, yeah yeah so i don't you know i don't uh, prescribe this is how you write no, a book to anybody it's because impossible to prescribe it. remind us again when you're in smock alley six o'clock this evening it's six o'clock this evening yeah. it's night time because she doesn't like mornings <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. Now up next, more summer holiday styles on the catwalk. See you in a few. My God. <laughs>